These are actually, science has shown, these are metabolizing, metabolism activating foods, avocado, broccoli, bok choy. Want to fire up your metabolism and boost your body's natural fat burning abilities? Well, get ready because today we're diving into Dr. William Lee's top metabolism boosting foods. These foods aren't just nutritious, they're scientifically backed by Dr. Lee to help you burn fat more effectively. Human metabolism emerged only four phases of metabolism across humans over the course of life. Everyone followed the same exact same pattern. So the inner workings of our metabolism are exactly the same. This idea that you were born with fast or slow, completely wrong. And the four phases are absolutely fascinating. Zero to one, your metabolism skyrockets when you're a baby to one years old. At one year old, your metabolism, baby's metabolism is faster, 50% faster than their, their metabolism as an adult, okay? Which is surprising. From one year old to 20 years old, all the way through puberty, when you see kids sprouting up, when they're super active, when they're eating two dinners, teenagers, okay, metabolism is going down, 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 down. Okay, to, so completely different than what we thought. From age 20 to age 60, metabolism is completely rock stable, is how we are hardwired. This is through your first job. This is through your pregnancy. This is through your menopause. All right, it's exactly the same. And then from age 60 to 90, it does decline a little bit, only about 17%. By the time you're 90 compared to when you were 60 which is the same as compared to your 20. so when you're 90 years old our hardwired metabolism is only 17 percent lower than when you were 20. now here's what happens so that's the pattern of human metabolism like it's a bombshell that this is how we're actually wired now what happens is that when you start adding back the effects of body fat into that equation what do you think happens you take this beautiful four stage pattern and you start to suppress it okay so you squash the metabolism so it's not that Slow metabolism causes you to gain body fat and gain weight. It's that extra body fat and weight squashes your metabolism. It's completely the other way around. Metabolism is like your body's engine. It converts what you eat and drink into energy. The faster your metabolism, the more calories you burn, even at rest. But here's the twist. Certain foods can rev up your metabolism even more. Dr. William Lee, a renowned physician and scientist, has researched foods that naturally boost metabolism and promote fat burning. Let's look at these powerful metabolism boosting foods that can give your body a healthy edge. Explain how your body, how food can fire up your body's metabolism. So I'm going to take you back to body fat. Like, you know, again, I'm not a diet person. In fact, I don't really like fad diets and trend diets and crash diets. And, you know, like anyone else, I have stepped out of the shower and out of the corner of my eye. I see something on my body in the mirror that like, yeah, I don't like that. I, I, I got to get in a better shape or I got to get in a better diet. Like, I mean, it's, it happens to all of us, right? That's a common thing. And then you step on a scale and the number that comes up isn't the number that you had hoped for. So you feel right away from the get go, like, oh man, I got to, I'm disappointed. I got to do something about it. Well, I can tell you that in my book, what I want people to realize is that science is empowering us because you can buy these metabolism activating fight fatting foods right in our grocery store. So in the book, I actually the whole second section of the book, if you're anybody who wants to like have surprise and delight, I write the book as if, you, if I invited you, like when you were a kid, to jump into the grocery cart. And I take you on a tour of the grocery store. I invite you like a, like a kid to jump into like your mom's grocery cart where she's pushing you around. What I do is I whisper in your ear and tell you what to put in the cart. So you go to the produce section and there are foods that are like tomatoes that have lycopene that actually dissolve into your body fat within an hour or so after you eat the tomato. And that lycopene turns on your body fat. And what it does, it, it doesn't turn on the jiggly fat. It turns on the kind of fat called brown fat. And brown fat isn't jiggly. It's not lumpy bumpy. It's paper thin. And it's paper thin and it's pressed along your neck, under your breastplate, under your arms, a little bit behind your back, a little bit in your belly. And when the lycopene from tomatoes and other foods will actually get to your fat, lights up the fat like the striker you have on a gas oven. You know, you click it, click, 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 whoosh. When that brown fat lights up, it's literally burning. It's thermogenic, meaning it's a space here. It creates heat. In order to create heat, to fire up, it has to draw energy, right? Just like a space heater does, you gotta plug it in. Or just like your gas range does, it draws down the gas from a gas tank. Now, in this case, your brown fat, when it fires up due to food, okay, 
Tomatoes are a fantastic food for boosting metabolism, primarily due to their high lycopene content. Lycopene is a powerful antioxidant that gives tomatoes their vibrant red color and offers numerous health benefits, including metabolism-boosting properties. Studies suggest that lycopene helps improve lipid metabolism, which is how your body processes fats. Improved lipid metabolism aids in breaking down fats more efficiently, which helps in weight management and prevents excess fat accumulation. Lycopene may also stimulate certain fat-burning genes and pathways within cells. This activation can promote the breakdown of stored fat, making it an essential component for anyone looking to boost their metabolism and support weight loss goals. Could be chili peppers, by the way. Serrano chilies, ancho chilies, Anaheim chilies, will all do this in their own way, fires up the brown fat. And where does that your brown fat draw its fuel from? It draws it from the harmful fat that stored extra energy. So good fat, brown fat, will burn down harmful fat, white fat, jiggly fat, and it draws it right down. And the first place it goes is from the most dangerous kind of fat that's stuck inside your body, all right? Chili peppers. Dr. Lee recommends these because they contain capsaicin, a natural compound that increases your metabolic rate by temporarily raising your body temperature. This process is called thermogenesis, and it helps you burn more calories even when you're just sitting down. So foods like Tomatoes, ancho peppers, avocado, broccoli, bok choy, onions, garlics, green onions, red onions. These are all foods that you would see in the grocery store. Tangerines, lemons, watermelon. You know, sound familiar? Anyone listening to this? These are actually, science has shown, these are metabolizing, metabolism activating foods. They trigger your brown fat to start turning on its space heater function to burn down extra fuel. So when you eat, like if you're at a bean burrito, okay, provided it doesn't have a ton of unhealthy things in it, you're going to be feel full longer. It's not because the beans are heavy. It's because there's a lot of fiber in the beans and the fiber feature got microbiome and that actually sets into motion this series of signals in your brain that may just make you less hungry. Now there's a hormone actually that does this. It's made by body fat called leptin. Some people may have heard of leptin, but we all, you know, it's all part of this. Remember I told you like intermittent fasting is natural. Leptin is nat natural. So we have a little bit of fat in our body, which we need. And when we eat and our stomach gets full, one of the things that happens is that the full stomach sends a signal, text messages our body fat and our body fat releases some leptin. The leptin, okay, who travels in our bloodstream to our brain and, and our brain receives the leptin signal, the text messages, and that leptin says, hey, you know what, slow down, man, like you're full. Just slow down and stop, all right? And that's basically what, when we feel full in front of a dinner plate, like it's because our fat is signaling our brain saying, hey, right, you know, chill out, man, like stop, slow down and stop. All right, now here's what happens. When you've got too much body fat, lots of leptin gets produced. And the funny thing that we don't fully understand is your brain stops reading the leptin. It doesn't read the signal anymore. And so even though you make more leptin, you're always hungry and you don't, never stop eating. And so basically what you want to do is to tame that fat so your brain becomes more sensitive to leptin and leptin will tell you, chill out. And by the way, when you eat, if you eat too quickly, you'll outstrip the speed of your signal that your stomach is full and your fat will make the leptin. So you can chuck a ton of food into your gut and you can overeat really easily if you eat super fast. And so this is another kind of like trick to actually optimize your metabolism is eat the healthy, eat the right stuff, but eat more slowly. Don't wolf your food down because you'll beat your body's ability to signal, to turn on the off switch and then you'll overload. So there you have it, Dr. William Lee's top metabolism boosting foods to help you burn fat naturally and effectively. By adding these to your diet, you're not only feeding your body well, but you're also giving your metabolism a little extra support. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more health insights. And as always, let me know in the comments what's your favorite metabolism boosting food. See you next time.